now we are going to understand about the important topic that is a list comprehension list comprehension offer a shorter syntax when you want to create a new list based on the value of an existing list we use a list comprehension let's take one example suppose my requirement is like I have a list is given now what actually I want I want output like this which what actually it will do it will do a square of this all the elements so my output should be like this 1 9 and 16 means it will do a square of this all the element and that's how I should get output so that is my requirement so in a traditional way how actually we will solve this so what actually I will do first I will try to iterate this for i in a if I'll do and if I'll do print for squaring i into i I will get the square of all the element now because we want output in the list right so what I will do I will create one more list empty list and in this empty list I will try to append this l dot append i into i i into i right so that the I will get the output in the form of a list now if I show you the output I am getting the output in the form of list so that is a traditional way now in a list comprehension what actually it offers you can write the same code in a single line itself means here we are writing a three to four line right to get the same result but with the help of the list comprehension in a single line you can get this output take how actually we can write that so what I will do I will create a new cell now let's see how in list comprehension we can write the same code so we have to open a bracket this is the square bit this is the like a list right now what you have to write uh, how actually we are solving this this for i in a we are writing right so you have to write the same logic because for we have to do a square of this uh, a right so what actually I am writing for i in a and what we are doing i into i right so this you have to write here so what actually I am doing for i in a what actually I want to do I want to square it if I will do this and if I will execute this you can see I am getting the same output means instead of writing the whole thing and instead of doing the append and all we have a list comprehension method with the help of this in a single line itself you can get the whole result so that is the advantage we get this help us to write cleaner more readable code compared to the traditional looping technique you can see in a traditional looping we are doing a whole loop and then we are doing append right but here we don't need in a single line itself we can get the result what are the advantage we have it is a concise it reduces the multiple lines of code to a single line that is the first advantage instead of writing the multiple line in a single line you will get the result second is a readable it is easy to understand compared to the traditional loop and the third is efficient it is faster than the equivalent for the for loops due to optimized op implementation it is faster as compared to the traditional loop so that, that is the advantage now let's do few example and uh, let's understand now suppose I have to filter a even number from the given list how actually we will write so what actually I was doing uh, in a traditional loop I was first looping for i in a and what actually I was doing I was appending if I was checking first if i percentile 2 equal equal to the 0 then do the append l dot append i and if I'll get you can see only 4 and 6 this is the result now in a list compression how actually I can get the I will write the same code for i in a and I will check if i percentile 2 equal equal to the 0 then what is the output I want I want a output of i and if I'll execute this you can see 4 and 6 so instead of writing this multiple line of code in a single line of code you will get the syntax is similar for i in a whatever we have written we have written here for i in a if i percentile to equal to 0 this condition also we have written instead of appending it right what actually we are doing just we are writing a i this i we don't need to do append because we are already in list right in a list compression so that is the advantage so instead of writing the whole line of code we will get the result in a single line now let's do one more uh, and here we have a hello and also we have a world now what actually I want 
whatever the value is there in the given list right i have to convert into the upper case so how actually i can do in a traditional method what actually i will do i'll create a new list because i had to append right and i will try to iterate it for i in a and if i will print i dot upper you can see it converted into the upper case right now what we will do we will try to append into this particular list so what i will write l dot append append now if i print l i will get the output i will get the output now the same result if you want to do using a list comprehension what you have to do you have to open a bracket now what you will write you will just write for i in a and what is the output we want that we have to write it first i dot upper this is the one we have to write now if i execute you can see i am getting the same result so this is very much important because it will make your life easy instead of writing a multiple line of code you can do the same result using a list comprehension in a single line so that is the advantage we get in a list comprehension so i hope you got the idea please do practice